I love scavenger hunts and I'm so excited to share with you my back to school scavenger hunt today. When I was a kid, I saw the film National Treasure and became obsessed with puzzles. My poor family had to do many a scavenger hunts to find their Christmas presents, their birthday presents. I have a lot of experience making scavenger hunts. In particular, I love my back to school scavenger hunt. If you've ever done an escape room, I want you to think back on that experience and ask yourself, did you learn a lot about the other people that you were with? My answer is yes. That's why I love using scavenger hunts as a back to school tool. When I do a scavenger hunt with my kids that first week of school, I get a clear sense of a few things. One, Who's the leader? Who's kind of bossy? Who is the class clown? Who does not want to engage in this activity at all? Who prefers to separate from the group with a side task and do things on their own? My favorite thing that I learned every single time I have done the scavenger hunt, doesn't matter what the demographics of my class are. What all the students do is as soon as they solve this four digit clue, they go to their lockbox and they try to enter it into the lock. Doesn't open. Almost everyone goes back to the clue, checks their work, realizes they're right, they go to the lockbox, and most students go on and try something else. There is a special type of child that will go back to the clue, to the lockbox, to the clue, to the lockbox, over and over again without trying something new. They cannot try something else. This can continue the whole period. This can continue even after the rest of the group has moved on and found the next clue. And that is very valuable information. Often these are the most gifted students in your classroom, people who have gotten the right answer their whole life and don't know how to handle that kind of failure, don't know how to handle it when the lockbox isn't opening. It's usually my students who are identified as academically deficient in some way who do excellent at this kind of scavenger hunt. They're the kind of people who are accustomed to failing in a traditional academic sense, and so they're used to trying different strategies, moving on and finding different ways to look at problems. Supports my thesis that we need everybody in our classrooms. That's a side topic for a whole nother video. Whether it's with my scavenger hunt, another teacher's scavenger hunt, or you decide to go off and make one on your own, I hope you try scavenger hunts this year. Product is in the description and in the comments below. I love scavenger hunts. My dog is in the background. <laughs>